Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and welcome to another special effects behind the scenes episode for Alien Invasion. You like this lens? It's awesome. It's an 8mm Rokinon lens. I think it's very flattering, especially with my pronounced nose. It just, it just makes me look like a superstar, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to use it because I never get to use it. Uh, so I want to talk about the special effects in this episode uh, that are going into Alien Invasion, specifically these, these spaceships here, because we're finally starting to get to see them up close, and I, I thought you might want to see what goes into them. This is a program uh, called uh, 3D Studio Max. It's made by Autodesk. Uh, I've used it for many years. It's, I know there's, there's Maya, there's a lot of other software out there, but um, this is one that I'm, I'm used to, I like it, and it's pretty powerful. Uh, as you can see, I've got this 3D model here. I built this using various parts of different technology that I downloaded from a website that offers three, free 3D models for people to download. It's uh, you know just kind of open source stuff. People can grab stuff, and I kind of took different pieces, shoved them together, and made this kind of cool ship shape. Ship shape. Uh, as you can see on the top of it, there's not much going on. It's just sort of so smooth, you know, and boring because who's ever going to see the top? So why put the effort into it? Uh, we're really always seeing it from, you know, the bottom like this or the side over here. And uh, as you can see, there's a few different lights that are acting on it. There's this white light that's coming down from the top and it's greenish light uh, on the bottom. And those can be flipped on and off. Here's the... Uh, the green light, uh, you know, from the bottom that gets turned off. And you can see when I turn it off, you don't see any of those details in there. It's all just black. And the reason that I have that is that in real life, whenever there's an object near something like the Earth, there's going to be light reflecting up off the Earth. And that's why it's kind of a greenish light, uh, is because uh, in all the scenes where this is flying around, it's presumably over trees or something like that. And the trees would be bouncing a little bit of greenish light up on the bottom of it. So I've got that on there. And then there's also the, uh, the light above, which represents the sun. And that can be flipped on and off as well. And I can add as many lights as I want. This isn't the only ship that you're going to see in the series. There are some more uh, new ships that are coming in, uh, maybe some that are bigger. Uh, and I am really excited about the idea of seeing them really start interacting with things. Uh, you know, there might be some shots fired, and um, I think that's one of the things you're going to really get interested in. At this point, all I've really seen is you know, ships sort of hovering up there, not really doing much of anything. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're getting to a point where things are going to start happening. So that's it. I hope you found this mildly interesting or kind of fun, and uh, I hope you're enjoying the series, and yeah, the new one's coming out on Friday, so get ready. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.